Are you struggling to stay consistent or spend way too much time creating different designs for various platforms each time you want to post? Well, no worries, I have a solution for you. I'm going to show you how to speed up the whole process by using Canva templates. But that's not all, I have a whole section on how you can actually make money with them. Are you in? Let's do this. Hi my lovely humans, it's Natalia and welcome to my channel where I share super actionable ideas on content creation for entrepreneurs and creatives. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to create, use, share and monetize Canva templates. And if you've not heard about Canva, check out my 10 minute tutorial where I explain what it is and how to use it. But we're focusing specifically on templates today, which are basically a shortcut to a great design. And with Canva's simple drag and drop tools, it's super easy to customize a template once it's created and it lets you create multiple similar designs out of that one template. But before I get into the tutorial, let me tell you why it's worth using Canva templates. So first of all, it's a huge time saver because with templates, you can batch create content very efficiently and it makes creating it so much faster. And the second reason is keeping a consistent brand identity. So when you create your own unique templates, you can make them perfectly aligned with your overall brand image. And this also means that you won't need to use any generic Canva templates and having your brand image all over the place. And last but definitely not least, you can actually make money with them by creating your own digital products. And make sure to stay to the very end of this video as I'll explain what you need to know to do it yourself. And a word of caution before we start because I don't want to waste anyone's time, templates are a Canva Pro feature which means that they're not available for free users. I will talk about this a bit more later on, but there is an upside for those of you who don't want to pay for Canva monthly. If you sign up for a Canva free trial for 30 days, you can actually create your own templates and they're yours to keep and use after the trial expires. And if you'd like to try Canva Pro yourself, you can sign up using my link, which I'll leave for you in the description box down below. All right, on to Canva. Number one, how to create templates. So first let's go to Canva and create a set of graphics. And today I'm going to design Instagram posts for an imaginary lifestyle blogger. So we'll start off with updating the brand kit. And this is where you can update all the components of your visual brand identity. So your logos, fonts, and colors. A consistent brand identity is an important component of your overall brand strategy and it helps shape how your audience actually perceives your brand. And if you'd like me to talk more about how to create one for yourself, let me know in the comments down below because I'm very, very passionate about the subject and it can actually help you transform your business. So once we update the brand kit, we'll be able to use the exact same colors and fonts across all designs, which will make our brand easily recognizable. And for the lifestyle blog, I'm going to go for a rose gold palette. So let's choose old standard for our headings, um, open sans for the subheadings and open sans light for the body text. So next we're going to create our design and I'm just typing in Instagram post to get the right dimensions. And ideally you want to have a variety of graphics for different types of content or even your content pillars. And for the sake of this video, of course, I'll just create a quote, a blog post teaser and a single tip post. So let's begin with a quote. So I want a pretty plain design with a few interesting elements. And first let's choose a background which will be a bit more textured than a solid color. And since I'm going for rose gold as a theme, marble seems like a good idea. So let's search it in the photos. And this one looks pretty good, so let's drag it to our background. It's a tad bit too dark for my liking, but not to worry, I can actually manipulate it. So since this background is white, I can just change the transparency of this photo and it will become brighter. So I think around 40% should be a good match. Perfect, brilliant. Next, I'm going to search for some frames in the elements and I'm going to just type in rose gold frames. Brilliant, let's look through it. And I think this one seems like a good fit. Perfect. So let's just rotate it 45 degrees, perfect. And let's stretch it out a bit to give the design a little more definition near the edges. Great, now onto the text. So let's choose this heading, which we've previously updated in our brand kit. And since it's quite decorative, it will work brilliantly for a quote. And I've got my quote ready in here, so let's paste it. And I'll just change the letter spacing a bit and the line height. Brilliant, and let's change the color of the font. I'll choose the darkest one in here. 
brilliant. So that's our quote here. But since many people may want to share it, we want to include our IG handle or website so it can lead more followers back to us. And I'm going to choose the body text now. So it's the open sans light. And let's make it a bit bigger. Let's make it uppercase. And I'll just adjust the letter spacing in here to make it a bit more spaced out. We can leave it there, but since it's a quote, we can make it even more obvious and add a special quotation mark. And as you can see, Canva has plenty of options for these in the elements, but I want to use my own rose gold ones. So let's drag them into Canva and they pop in here instantly. I'll just make them a bit smaller, um, position them forwards, move them up in here, just like this. And that's our quote ready. All right, so on to the second template, which is a blog post teaser. So I want it to revolve around a photo, but not like a classic Instagram post, which kind of fills the whole space. So I'm going to use a grid to put it in place. So let's go to the elements in here, scroll down. And as you can see, we've got frames in here and grids down below. So grids and frames are actually the best way to showcase how customizable your template is. And although you can just drag a photo over an existing photo on the design and it will swap it, grids and frames kind of act as a placeholder for your photos. And this way, if you're sharing a template with someone, which I'll discuss later in the video, so make sure to watch till the very end, um, they actually can have a blank design and not get distracted by any existing pieces in the design. Let's pick a grid and I'll just place it beyond the middle line. So let's stretch it out a bit. Great. And now I'll change the background. So I want to go for something sandy and neutral to go with the theme. So this lightest hue is great. Next, let's add a box to make our little blog announcement. And I could go for a solid color element, but I want to stay on brand and use the same marble texture as with the previous design. So let's make it a bit wider. Great. And since I changed the opacity of the previous one, I need to actually add a white element below to have the same sort of effect in here too. So let's go to elements and pick a square. I'll change it to white and then I'll just make it the same size as this marble texture. And as you can see, it kind of just snaps in place. So you know, it's in the correct position. All right. So let's push it behind the marble. Great. Then unclick, select the marble and change the transparency to 40%. So onto the text now. Again, to stay on brand, I'm choosing our Open Sans Light font for the new blog post subheading. Then let's pick Old Standard as our heading. And let's say it's a blog post on 10 favorite books of 2021. I'm making sure these two are aligned properly and that's us done with the text. But I want to introduce another element just to emphasize the rose gold theme. So let's search for rose gold again, scrolling down. And I think this leaf will work great. All right. So let's rotate it, make it smaller. And here's a good place for it. So we can just push it back a bit behind the marble box and we're done with the second one. Let's just drag a photo. Perfect. And that's us. And finally, let's get going with a single tip post. So I'm not going to design a whole educational carousel post here, but if you'd like me to show you how to do it, let me know in the comments down below. I want to keep it very simple for this one. So let's go ahead and choose this light pinkish color. Great. Now I'll get a white square in the middle as a backdrop for a marble. So let's stretch it out to fit the frame and hold alt to make it smaller from both sides. Fab. Now let's get the marble again crop it out to match the white square. All right. And the transparency down to 40% again. Perfect. We've got our next layout. Now I need something to act as a heading. So I'll search for some rose gold washi tape. So let's find it here. Let's scroll down a bit. This one fits. So let's stretch it out a bit, but I want to crop it a tiny bit. So just to make it a bit more narrow. So let's go to crop and drag it from the bottom. And that looks great. Next, I'll add some text and it's open sans the subheading this time. Let's make it bold and all caps. And let's say three top skincare ingredients. Perfect. Okay, so let's make it fit. I'll select both the elements and make them bigger together. Let's group them and onto the three ingredients. 
So let's add a square element and choose a color. So this darker pink is going to work and I'm dragging the square into a rectangle. All right, that seems to be the perfect size. And now let's duplicate it twice. I'll hit Control D. And as you can see, I'm dragging it and it snaps in place. Great. And I'm placing the lowest one where I want it to end up. And then I'll select all three by holding shift each time I click. And now that they're selected, I'll go ahead to alignment and hit tidy up, which well tidies it up and it makes it spaced out evenly. And I absolutely love this feature. It just makes it all so much quicker. So now let's add the tips. So text again, add a heading, old standard again. I'll make it dark and smaller, just a bit smaller. And let's say retinol is going to be the first. And yes, by the way, for my skincare fans out there, they're actually my top skincare ingredients. So I may not be a lifestyle blogger, but I love me some retinol. And let's copy that. All right, perfect. I like it, but not love it. So I need a bit more definition with the elements. So let's go through rose gold elements again, scroll down. And I actually quite like this one. So I'll rotate it, stretch it out like this. Great. And again, you can see it snapped in place. Let's just push it backwards. And that's our third one done. Number two, how to export and share templates. All right, brilliant. So now that we've got our three designs, let me show you how to turn them into a template. So what you want to do now is hit the three dots in the top right corner here and then type in template. You then go ahead and choose a folder that you want it to reside in. And I could simply go for the team templates here, but this time I'll choose a rose gold lifestyle blogger folder to keep it all in one place. And that's as simple as that. You have your first template saved. If you want to share the template for other Sue's, which I'll explain in a moment why it's worth knowing how to do it, you hit share. And then here at the bottom, choose a share link to use as template. And this way you have a copied link to an editable design and you can share it with others and they'll be able to edit it as they please. When they click on the link, they see this sweet screen and they can click use as template and that copies it into their Canva. And the great thing is that they don't actually have to have Canva Pro to use your template, but beware if you've used any pro elements or photos, they will have to pay for them when they go to export it. So that's definitely something to keep in mind if you're planning on designing some. Number three, how to use templates. To use a template we've just created, we'll go to the folder it's in or just search in your designs tab. And as you can see, it's marked as a template in the top left corner. So you know that it's not your regular graphic. Let's go ahead and click on it. And instead of being opened as a design, which would pop up in a new window in the Canva editor, we now have the pop up with two options. So you can either use this template or edit the original, which means you can always play around with your existing templates and adjust them. But if you just want to create a new design with this template, hit the purple button and this creates a copy of this template. And by the way, you can also share this template from this here. So you don't need to actually go into the editor again to be able to retrieve the link. So in more general terms, how do I actually use templates? So, well, First and foremost, I use them to save time and batch create content. So whenever I plan content for a month, two weeks or a week, whatever time frame suits, and I know what content I'm creating, I then go to Canva to choose from a variety of different templates, which I created at the beginning and churn out tons of posts for different platforms from these various templates. This may be a lot of work at the very beginning, but it's definitely a huge, huge time saver in the long run. And if you'd like me to show you how I plan and execute content for a month or two weeks in one day, let me know in the comments and I'll record a video for you. And by the way, if you're working with clients or thinking of starting your own social media agency, this is exactly what I would do at the very beginning with them during the onboarding. So you can initially create a bunch of different templates in line with their brand, have your clients approve them. And this way there's no hassle when you're actually creating content for them regularly. And my tip is to always create these templates from scratch for yourself or for your clients to make them as original as possible. But I do understand that not everyone feels very comfortable as a graphic designer, in which case you can use different Canva template sets. So not just a bunch of completely different templates, but the ones that are available in a few versions. And even then do change them, update them with your brand colors and fonts and your logos or elements. So putting it simply, make them your own. And speaking of making things your own, that's another reason why I use templates and how I use them. 
any templates I create are helping me keep a consistent visual brand identity. And by having tons of those designed means that they can be infused with my overall brand image. And again, this is done with colors, fonts, logos, elements, etc. And by the way, if you're creating your own templates, when you're testing out Canva pro on a 30 day trial, they're yours to keep after the trial expires and you're no longer a Canva pro user. And this is actually pretty amazing. You won't be able to share them, sell them or create new ones as a free Canva user. But for content creation purposes, this can be quite helpful to you in any case. And there's another way to use templates and that's actually how to make money. You can actually sell templates to others and create profit this way. This brings us to point four. Number four, how to monetize templates. Selling digital products is always a great way to create a stream of income and templates work like a charm. So you can create your own templates and sell them on Etsy or Gumroad, use them to form sales funnels, offer them to your email list or sell them through Facebook ads or on Pinterest. And you can also use them as lead magnets and try converting your followers into warmer contacts. But before you jump at this opportunity, make sure you read through the Canva rules. So there's a brilliant document which goes in detail on what you can and cannot do. And I'll leave it in the description box for you to look through. It's called the free media license agreement. And to give you a few pointers or a bit of a TLDR, all free media on Canva can be used for free for commercial and non-commercial use but you cannot sell unaltered copies of any photos, elements, music, videos, templates created by Canva as a physical product without adding any value. And the without adding any value bit is pretty important. So basically to give you an example, you cannot go choose one of Canva templates, play around with it and then sell it. It's just a changed copy. So I'd say start from scratch, create your own unique designs and then sell them. But of course there's quite a bit more to it. So if you're looking to sell digital products created in Canva, definitely read through their guidelines carefully. Once you have your templates designed and ready to sell, you can share them by creating a link as I showed you a moment ago, and then simply create a nicely designed PDF with this link to send to your customers. You can make it as a simple link or get a bit more fancy and create buttons. And of course you can simply send the links to your customers in an email as well. I have quite a few other videos on Canva if you want to dive deep, so make sure to check them out if you want to become more proficient. Now let me know how you plan on using templates. Are you creating a product or using them to create content more efficient? Drop a comment down below. I'm super curious. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you want to improve your content marketing, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so, so much for being with me today. I really appreciate you. So have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.